What's up you bots? Welcome back to another video. With all the love and support you guys have given me on the joystick mouse in the scroll wheel controller, we are yet again showcasing another custom gaming peripheral. And honestly, I think this is the best one yet. It's a one-handed mechanical gaming keyboard with a real controller joystick attached to it. This is truly a game changer and personally don't think I can ever go back to using a normal keyboard. While PC gaming provides countless advantages over console gaming, such as higher frame rates, better in-game graphics, upgradability, and so much more. For some reason, PC still uses the same controller format since basically the dawn of PC gaming. Sure, keyboard and mouse is sufficient for many games on the market, but time after time, 360 degrees of analog movement has proven to be an undoubtedly superior input method method over WASD's eight directional movement, especially with games becoming more and more advanced. With that being said, there has yet to be a wide range adoption or a successful implementation in the PC gaming world that comes close to the analog sticks controller movement on the PC. This has resulted in massive amounts of people making the switch over to PC gaming, but deciding to continue using those same controls they have grown to love so much on console. In all my years of gaming, I have never seen a game like Fortnite bring so many console gamers over to PC gaming. If you ask any of those console gamers who switched to PC because of Fortnite, yet continue to use a controller 9 times out of 10, you'll get an answer of it's because I couldn't get the hang of keyboard and mouse, or I hate the movement of WASD. The jump between controller to KBM is an adjustment in learning curve which can and does appear intimidating to many. As I've stated in the past, love it or hate it, Fortnite is undoubtedly an innovator in the gaming space. Directly within the in-game settings, you have the ability to combine controller inputs with KBM inputs, allowing analog movement to work flawlessly with a mouse and keyboard. No game has done it so seamlessly as Fortnite. This setting alone has spawned the ideas of all these custom peripherals. You may be saying to yourself, this video is pointless. I swear I've seen joystick keyboards before, and you would be correct, but nothing done to this degree. Many of the popular options on the market, like the Razer Tartarus and the Horitac Pro, both present massive flaws and issues. The Razer Tartarus's quote unquote analog stick, wait for it, is not even an analog stick. It's just a D-pad with an analog stick nub placed on top of it. Its function is to remap WASD to the four sides of the D-pad and it feels terrible. Then for the Horitac Pro, while it does use a real analog stick, it was designed for the PS4. It is programmed to emulate a PS4 controller and not a keyboard and mouse, so your console can recognize it. When you plug the Horitac Pro into a PC, the PC sees it as a PS4 controller. This results in massive compatibility and sensitivity issues. There is one option though that has gained a ton of popularity within the Fortnite community. It's called the Azeron, and I'll admit this thing is pretty cool. The Azeron uses a real joy 
joystick and is designed strictly for PC use, but unlike your conventional keyboard, the Azeron uses one of the most craziest key configurations I have ever seen. My entire point to everything I just said is I just want a plain old mechanical gaming keyboard with a plain old real analog stick. And as you can see from what I just mentioned, this doesn't exist. I think one of the biggest advantages of a joystick keyboard is it drastically reduces the learning curve of KBM. When using WASD on a keyboard, your finger usage and placement is restricted. You must have two to three fingers placed on these movement keys at any given time and pivot these fingers to the other keys for in-game actions. Also, diagonal movement on KBM requires even more effort to perform, requiring you to use two fingers to go in a single direction, example, pressing W and D to move at a right angle or W and A to move at a left angle. Continuing on this topic, when talking about wasted and unnecessary finger usage on a keyboard, this is most prevalent when regarding your thumb. Most KBM players use their thumb for a single action, jumping by pressing the space bar. This is where the joystick keyboard presents such a massive advantage. Instead of restricting two to three fingers on a keyboard just for movement, you are now reallocating movement to just your thumb, freeing up those fingers for other in-game actions and or inputs. Plus, the added benefit of true 360 degree movement. The only drawback in this configuration is you must reassign the spacebar function. For me, I found the most easily adaptable solution was to move the spacebar function to your other thumb. In this case, I programmed the spacebar function to one of my side buttons on the mouse. Now that we have all character movement being controlled by your single thumb, you have now freed up four other fingers to complete in-game actions like build, edit, weapon swap, and so on. Keyboard is known in the Fortnite community as the superior input method when it comes to things like building and editing as you have a far superior amount of keys to bind to over the controller. This is why things like the scuff controller are so popular in the Fortnite controller community as they add additional inputs. By not having your fingers stuck to WASD, I found it 10 times easier for a noob like me on KBM to build and edit like someone who has been playing on KBM for a much greater amount of time. The joystick keyboard really came to fruition after creating and using the joystick mouse for a few months. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. As much as I fell in love with it and it opened my eyes to how powerful combining KBM inputs with analog inputs could be, it had some major drawbacks. As you are constantly moving your hand around when using a mouse, sometimes with very rapid movements, such as flick shots and whatnot, your grip of the joystick while holding the mouse could become difficult to maintain. These movements cause my thumb to lose that grip of the analog stick. The other notable issue with the joystick mouse came with aim. Using a mouse requires much greater precision when aiming. The joystick mouse required you to hold the mouse in a claw-like grip, which didn't allow the palm of your hand to sit completely flush with the mouse, in turn affecting your overall grip of the mouse. A firm grip with your hand and palm is necessary for tiny accurate movements. This claw grip I was using with the joystick mouse made these tiny movements a little harder to perform. This is where the idea for the joystick keyboard came into play. I wanted to place the joystick on something stationary rather than a moving object. Obviously placing a joystick on a standard full-size keyboard would be possible but not make much sense and would just look straight up stupid. A one-handed keyboard seemed like an obvious solution. One-handed keyboards are simply a full-size keyboard cut in half retaining all necessary keys for PC gaming, and they are actually preferred by many gamers. As we have learned from the joystick mouse in the scroll wheel controller, placement of our added custom components is probably the single-handed most important aspect of these builds. Meaning, just because we have the ability to add a joystick or a scroll wheel to something doesn't mean it will make sense. If it is not comfortable or doesn't feel like a natural extension of that peripheral, then the mod may not 
even be worth doing. When designing the joystick keyboard, we wanted to go with a one-handed keyboard that utilized the thumb in a specific orientation. The most appealing design we found on the one-handed keyboard market was keyboards that angled the spacebar placement so that your thumb would naturally rest over it. That angled spacebar designed seemed like perfect positioning for adding a joystick. These keyboards also offered everything else we were looking for in a one-handed keyboard, such as mechanical blue switches, very bright and programmable RGB lighting, and last but not least, plug and play capability, meaning no special software was required, and all of this for just $25. Now regarding the controller and analog stick we are using for this build, the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 controller is supported by almost every single PC game on the market. They use a standard input making them plug and play. While I personally prefer the PS4 controller on games like Fortnite, as we are only using the analog stick function from this entire controller, things like comfortability and preference don't really play a factor. With that being said, we decided to use a standard no-name USB PC controller, which is basically an Xbox 360 controller designed for only PC usage. It worked perfectly, had a great feeling analog stick, and was only $10. So adding it all up, we spent $25 on the keyboard, $10 on a controller, and about $15 to $20 on additional supplies, making the build cost of the joystick keyboard around just $50. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Since you guys love the scroll wheel controller so much, we are working on a scroll wheel controller that also has paddles, just like a scuff. Video coming soon. Regarding the scroll wheel controller giveaway, it was put on hold as the one that we used in the video was sent to Flea. Huge shout out to Flea as he showed us a ton of support on our scroll wheel controller video and helped to get over a million views. Now for my budget PC subscribers, I'm sorry I've been slacking on those videos, but we are posting a $300 budget gaming and streaming build very soon. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for all the support. We just hit 40k subs, which is mind blowing. We have been growing like crazy and you guys seriously mean the world to me. I know every YouTuber says this, but hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content as I really try to do my best to post stuff on this channel you can't find anywhere else. And I really challenge myself to earn your sub. So make sure to smash a like on this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Lady of bots. Thank <laughs> you.